Good morning. I want to welcome you to ATB. Uh, my name is Charles K. Murphy, the group head of corporate affairs. My, my colleague is Derek Bruno, and I, would like to, I think the best would be that he uh, also introduce himself. That's our colleague. And then he uh, will also introduce himself. Only, the one thing I would like to mention is that uh, the CEO was not able to be here himself. We have met him. Uh, we are actually having very many meetings. We meet are beginning today. This is not the normal room we normally use for our meeting. All have been taken up on uh, several floors because all the board meetings, uh, the boards are coming to the ATD and then have to look at their annual, final accounts, which will now have to declare the final payments. So we have meetings throughout the morning and throughout the afternoon, every day continuing for. 14 days, non-stop. So we have taken up all the rooms that we could uh, possibly use the uh, issue for it. But uh, please feel, do feel welcome. Uh, we are here, we'll be able to answer all your questions. And uh, I know you have a busy, very tight schedule, uh, including the visits to uh, one of our factories in the week. I believe we'll be able to actually have a very fruitful stay in Kenya. Thank you very much. I think I will, will go to ground so that everybody who is in this room then can uh, introduce themselves and know exactly who it is. Yeah. Thank yes. you very much. Uh, my name is uh, uh, Andre. Um, my name is Andre Mbithye. I'm the Executive Secretary of the Federation of Growers in Uganda. So I'm with my colleagues also. Um, they are a, a group composed of uh, different people from. Uh, cooperatives at all levels, at the national, um, the regional, and the cooperative, primary cooperative level. Yeah. So we would like to thank you. Um, for us, it's a pleasure to be here. For, uh, we thank you for accepting our visit. Uh, for any of us, it's not the first time here. I was asking them to how to do it. Yes, to do it. I think it, it, some <coughs> have arrived in it twice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's the first time because I'm new in T. I was only three months in T uh, as a secretary, uh, executive secretary. And um, we, we are leading this team. Uh, we have arrived uh, this, uh, this evening and uh, we are in the Panor Panorama Hotel. So, we are there. Um, so uh, today, uh, we have scheduled to visit uh, KTDA. Uh, for us, uh, what we want uh, really to see, uh, we have learned. We have learned that uh, we have learned that we have done more uh, in terms of leadership management uh, of the industry in Kenya. Uh, and we have chosen KTDA because we read, we had uh, that uh, KTDA has been developed very too much. Uh, they have uh, structures uh, that are well uh, functioning, they have uh, uh, infrastructures. Uh, so when uh, they asked us where to visit in, in East Africa, mm -hmm. so we said, uh, even if some of us have been here before, but we decided to uh, because uh, those who came, from, who came here before, they told us, well, we have learned too much and we have implemented they are lessons in, uh, in our cooperative, and a uh, lot of movements has been happening. Uh, but because there is uh, about three to three years to three uh, when they left, and we have new people, they said, let's let go there again. Maybe there are some new improvements, uh, then we can then again. Yeah, because learning uh, is the right uh, to the right. Huh? So we want. Um, uh, other, um, we have uh, heard that you have socio-economic development projects that uh, were initiated by key farmers here and in Kenya. So we want to know how, we want to know the history, some history about uh, the and the cooperatives, uh, you know, cooperative factories also. We have uh, in Uganda a couple of uh, factories, but the factories are owned by, by uh, 
private investors. Uh, the cooperative has a certain percentage, like 10%, uh, it's less. So you, you find uh, in our cooperative that farmers are still uh, poor because uh, they sell all, only the tea to the green leaf. Uh, so we want to restructure maybe it uh, to <coughs> negotiate, to advocate uh, with government uh, if they can raise some shares also uh, so that our, our farmers own also the factories or have a shift some shares, uh, increasing number of shares in the factory. So, but um, we are struggling, so we have said, why not go there, hear how they come up to, to that, and uh, we can learn from them, how we can okay, initiate also those, uh, uh, those developments in our country. So we have to know also the capacity, how we build the capacity of the cooperative, the farmers, the factory. Uh, as we are um, at the national level, we want uh, our, our main mission is to, to increase the capacity of cooperatives. But some of us who are new maybe need some capacity so that we may build the capacity also of uh, the primary cooperatives. Amen. In our in Rwanda. We have, uh, at the national level, we have the Federation of Tea. At the regional, we have the unions. We have five unions. Five unions. A union is, um, maybe the, the structure is not like here in Kenya, but at the grassroots, we have the, uh, the, the, the tea growers. They group it together into a cooperation, cooperative. Yes. So we have 18, now actually we have 18 cooperatives in the whole country, in the whole country. So those cooperatives, 18 cooperatives, they are grouped into five unions. We have 18. We don't combine with any other crop? No, it's only for two only two 14, three. yes. And uh, they are grouped into five unions. Right. The unions operate at the regional level. So the unions forms, um, for they form a federation. So the federation is operating at the national level, but with the best means, uh, we don't have it for sectors, even the budget is, uh, because the contribution, uh, it comes from the, the tea growers, and they, they contribute uh, on, uh, depending on the production of the uh, green leaf. They give only one, one, one and franc uh, to one kilo of green leaf salt. So you see, one franc per kilo. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. So, so yeah, green 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 green. Green. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, our budget. So how we get uh, the situation get the budget. So you see, the budget is still very low, and uh, we want also to then how we can increase uh, our maybe our budget so that we are near other business activities or. Uh, other projects that may increase, uh, the, uh, may enhance the living conditions of the farmers. Yeah. In, in short, in that, but uh, they, they ask questions uh, as we talk, uh, but mainly we want to capture that. Uh, but you, you know that also we visit the college, the cooperative college of Kenya. We visit the factory and then we meet people, we to meet people in different places. We will go to Mombasa to visit the auction. There is a one in London who is there. He organized the visit for us. Uh, we, we help us to meet with buyers and, uh, and the brokers there. Yeah. Yeah, mainly it is that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And you're right, a lot has happened in eight years <laughs> since you were last year, those who are here. We always grow it. And many of the questions I can assure you, is very grown up here, we'll answer them because in this presentation, he mm -hmm. tackles a lot of issues, many of which you have your place and the answers I think are there. Well, if we need to answer directly, we will. The three of us. I yeah. think you will give us you give the presentation. You will give your presentation. You will, you will start there first. Uh -huh. and we'll see if those questions have been answered. Mm -hmm. Only for me to mention that indeed it's very true, especially on the social as aspect. One thing that maybe those who are here last time may not have heard about is the KTDA Foundation. Mm -hmm. We have actually set up the KTDA Foundation and is now 
it's now run to look at the social aspects of our business. Well, it's not just a commercial, you know, it's a commercial business. And uh, I, I think you also will make reference, I hope, to the, uh, to the hydro, because that's the other yes. development. I just wanted to mention to you. Uh, so you're right, we, we, there's a lot that happens in KTDF here. Mm. So it's a good choice. Uh, we feel honored that you decided to come back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you, Charles, and uh, welcome to KTDA once again. Um, I'll take you through a presentation that you are from in, appointed by the four corporate shareholders. So, um, below the KTDA holdings, we have the factory companies. Currently, we have 65 operational factories, but of course, the 54 corporate companies. Some of the, 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 the factories are after 54 uh, satellite companies of the 54 companies. So in total, we have 65 operational factories mm -hmm. that uh, spread all over the country. Then we so those 65. 65. Eh? So we have indicated 60, 54 uh -huh. are the corporate companies. Yes. Some of the 54 corporate companies have branch factories, which we call satellites. Okay. So you will find the additional adds up to 65. So currently we are running 65 factories, but I have said corporate companies are 54. Mm -hmm. Then um, these companies are owned by farmers. We have indicated below the farmers. Each farmer is a shareholder of the factory company. Unlike you people who own cooperatives and you access the factory by shares, mm -hmm. which you have said is a majority share because some of the shares are owned by the private companies. Yeah. But here we are saying the factory companies are owned by the farmers. Oh. So That's the farmers right. here own the factory companies purely as a hundred percent. Okay. So that means they have control. So how did you come to, to that? <laughs> all, all the farmers, the farmers own a hundred percent of the factory. Yes, it's their business, it's their company. So here is KTD, we are just a managing agent. We are managing for them, but they own the company. Yeah, because okay. in, in Rwanda, yes. it's not possible that you, the, the cooperative, because they, they have less means, yes. uh, they, they were owned by government in, in the past. But the government did privatization. Right. Then the investors came, they took uh, the factories. Then the factories are owned by the investors, with the 70% only owned by the cooperatives. So yes. we, we want to, to hear from you how did you come up the history that, that made that 100% it's a, your cooperative that's all owned. Is it the, the, the will of the gov your government or is it just uh, how did you come? Okay, briefly, I'm not going to go to GPN. KTDA was um, in mission. Uh, the key business in the country. Mm -hmm. The business in Kenya was purely owned by the colonialists. Okay. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So around that time, the local farmers were not allowed to grow tea. So um, when, when, when um, the country got its independence, Mm -hmm. um, there is what we call the Special Crop Development Authority, which was formed by the government to develop tea in the country. And this was meant to assist the farmers to take over the business of tea cultivation. Mm -hmm. uh, this um, 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 was used initially to reduce tea business to the farmers. And over time, that Special Crop Development Authority was changed into a state of KTD. Mm -hmm. You see? So Kenya Tea Development Authority, not it was Kenya Tea Development Authority, which was a Pasteto, uh, which the government owned shares and therefore encouraged farmers to, to grow tea. So over the years, development of tea by the small scale farmers started taking root and expanding over the years until the year 2000, when KTDA was advertised to a private company and it changed from KTDA Authority. KTDA agents. You can now see the difference. Mm. Yeah. At that time, the government sold shares to the growers so that mm. the growers took complete ownership of those factories. And it ceased to be in a state and changed to a factory or to a company. Mm. Isn't it? So it became a private company. You can, that is the transition now from the government owned to private owned by the farmers. Isn't it? Mm. I know you people currently, your business in tea is being so by now. 
But Nile. Yes, Nile. Yes, yes. And that is actually the transition. Mm. As we were supervised by the, um, um, the special group development uh, uh, company, but uh, not company, it's a special group development authority, which they integrated here the authority, and later the government is privatizing all those companies. So KTDA was privatized in the year 2000 to form a KTDA agency. And therefore, farmers were given all the shares. They took over the shares from the government. So as it is now, the government has no shares in those company companies. And that's why now it's privately owned by the farmers. And, 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 and the, 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 the allotment of shares also went with the production of things over, over some period. I hope we are together, with, particularly for those of you who are not very good people. Maybe they can explain. Yes, but I just want to, as you can explain, explain something else. You see, we have the agency, which is KTD here, where we are. But there's the factory. The factory at the village, I don't know the village. Yeah, what happens there influences what happens up here. Because there, when farmers have a lot of crop, they want to grow cheap. What they do is that they, they apply to KTD. They say, okay, we did a lot of crop, an assessment is done. They say there is a lot of crop, and say there is potential for growing the crop. They say that those want their own factor to process the crop. So what KTD tells them, it says we tell them now, yes, ensure that there is enough crop, and then raise some money, raise the equity, which is up to at least 50% of the moment. And then once they have done that, and that is by a deduction they have to resolve and say we'll be contributing say one shilling per kilo mm -hmm. for everybody until we reach that figure. Mm -hmm. Once they do that, then they come to KTD and we have the equity. And KTD guarantees a loan for the difference for the construction of the other fifteen percent to the bank. And as they build the factory and as they sell their crop, the tea earns the money. But then part of that money goes to pay for the loan they took. Once they, they have repaid the loan, you see now what has happened now is that they have, they have their own factory. There is no other shareholder involved. And KTDA now continues as a management agency for that one. That's how they have, it has expanded. You have some mother factory, what we call the mother factory. In 2045, so in some area during privatization, so some areas they say, well, there's so much crop, we want our own factory. Mm -hmm. And we say, okay, raise the money, we'll build another factory. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. You may wish to explain or we proceed. Yeah. Can you explain something? Yeah, please. Yeah. Presentation first. You can then you can explain. Explain. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. 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 But KTDA structure is not operative. Uh -huh. Even those farmers yeah. are not individual. individual. Mm -hmm. Not as an individual, come as an individual. It's not in a corporate. But we have cooperatives in Kenya, even tea cooperatives. Mm. But those tea cooperatives are not related in any way to the KTA. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. But the farmer will be a member of a tea cooperative where he grows his crop, and that's because he has a relationship as a cooperative member. Okay. But when it comes to KTA, we know him as an investor, shareholder, as a shareholder mm -hmm. and a supplier of the leaf as an individual. Mm. Yeah. So it's so, separated. Yeah. So many of them are both members of cooperatives, tea cooperatives, mm -hmm. but also shareholders of KTDA factories. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, as we have stated clearly, KTDA shall the KTDA holdings now, which is the umbrella managing agent body. Uh, we have together there. Then we have a number of subsidiary companies, which you have actually mentioned earlier. KTD is not only looking at the tea business, uh, managing the tea business for the factory companies, but also developing or venturing into areas that can benefit the farm. Isn't it? Because if we were only going to deal with tea, sometimes we have challenges and we need to manage. In a way, you see, as, 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 a, as a corporate body, KTD can manage some of these things easily than an individual factory. So we have the KTD Power Company, which um, I am sure you, you, you have mentioned. Here, we are talking of factory companies coming together to form power companies. And we have KTDA power company that oversees. Why? It is because energy or electricity is a very costly 
cost center. It's a very costly item in the factory companies. Mm -hmm. So KTDA has seen the need to develop power generation so that we also reduce the costs of production. So here we have uh, KTDA Power Company as one of the subsidiary companies, and um, we are working on that. Then we have the Chai Trading Company, which deals with the tea trading and the warehousing. Because of the number of factories that we have all over the country, and the amount of tea that we are producing, we found it necessary to have our own way of controlling the storage. That is the storage of tea at the warehousing, and also as a trading arm. KTDA uses the same to trade in tea so that you create some kind of uh, activity at the tea auction. In so doing, they also um, facilitate for KTDA to pay in terms of pricing. Because you see, when you compete with the other uh, 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 buyers, it's based in Mombasa. Chai trading company. It's based in Mombasa. This one is the team that is also there, also goes to the auction. So when you are there, there are different buyers. We also are listed as buyers of tea through Chai Trading Company. So you may have an opportunity, maybe we should mention yeah, to, to, to the uh, team there that you are there. Yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Maybe that so you can go to the auction and they just need one of them. Uh -huh. Right. The, the, the other subsidiary is Machani Insurance. This one takes care of um, insurance. Uh, business and uh, all issues in which it's relevant of the businesses for the factory companies and trading and KTDA. And that's a very important area in terms of business. Then we also have the Green and Feather. This is a microfinance which provides microfinance services for the farmers. You know there are farmers who may not be able to access finance uh, at the commercial banks and therefore Green and Feather comes in to assist the farmers at the factory level. So the farmers will be able to access those services at the factory. Mm -hmm. If a farmer would want to maybe get some um, loan or whatever, they will get it directly from the representative of the factory who is linked to the person here. So then you will have an opportunity to visit uh, the green, maybe to green up and when it will be in the factory? I know there is an official there. Yeah. Yes, the factory manager can organize for you to share with that person. Okay. I think that's what we can take. Then we have what we call now the managing MS. The MS. Yeah, it's a very So, so far, that is where we have reached. You can see it's a massive business and it calls for proper structures if you are able to achieve and uh, succeed. So, here we have the factory structure, the factory company. Uh, the factory company is led by the factory board. Each factory has got its own board uh, with six members of the board. These are elected by the farmers from amongst the same farmers. You know, you cannot be a board member of a factory unless you are a tea farmer. So that's what happens. And then, of course, at the factory level as well, we have the factory um, the management staff who assists in the professional and handling of the material duties. Thousand in the early 1960s to now 565,000 dollars all over the country. So in a nutshell, that is a business. Yeah, we appreciate uh, your yes. presentation very much. We gained a lot of things, but uh, we, still need, we still need some more explanation, maybe. Yeah. Premièrement, je voudrais vous remercier pour votre présentation. Je voudrais remercier aussi la KTDA comme une organisation qui fait beaucoup de choses pour organiser le secteur de l'école ici au Kenya. I would like to thank you for your presentation and for the all activities that you do regarding the industry. And my first question concerns the existence of Ketidie. For the existence of Ketidie, who was the initiator, who was the promoter? Is it the state who has proposed that it be the Ketidie to organize the agriculture? Or is it the state the technical and men who are so organized to create this institution as an institution of credibility for them. The question connects to Serena. How have you found the financial means to function in the first place? The second question is that there are a lot of institutions that are in the sector of the technical. Ici au Kenya, je voudrais dire qu'il y a des, des, des industries privées, d'autres industries privées 
il y a gouvernement, il y a des Thibaut of Kenya et d'autres institutions. Comment que tu dis collabore avec ces autres institutions pour pérenniser ou promouvoir le secteur de l'école ici au Kenya de l'éducation because we, we do not want to speak about it ourselves, uh, but uh, it is true. We have already begun doing some work, and I think it's good one. And, one and I'm happy to say that uh, Eric here is one of the lead to the guiding the operations that we have in the country. Mm -hmm. So you can ask me. <laughs> um, as we will, we will provide other support, the communication or the, the corporate affairs, just like other departments are doing. So that then I can assure you, we also want to build the relationship to be close and direct. That is very important. Now, I will answer the ones that I can as we go on with the person to you. Yeah. Now, in terms of uh, training, training for farmers, I think that is something that is working. It is, it is very possible. It's very possible. Um, KTDA used to have, we had set up actually a training center up in here in Central Kenya. But we, I think we were not ready to do that kind of training. So it was sold off to Moi University. We you say those other people doing university training as we are making tea, we will not manage more. Although now looking back, we are thinking, oh, maybe we should, not, we should have continued. So, that, but it can be done in other ways. But it is not uh, with Mount Kenya University, no. No, what is happening is that universities now are coming up, coming to us and saying, you know, we can collaborate with you to create courses for tea. And they're saying, that is fine. So they sit down with our team and we look at the curriculum and we run the courses themselves. Um, we have something called farmer field school, the one we, we refer to, for farmers. I think yes. it's very possible now to, to, to arrange something where farmers can from, from, from Rwanda can come and see what is happening on the ground and then collaborate with them. Um, about farmers not getting rich. We used to say that in Kenya, but uh, even the farmers cannot get rich. Uh, but then, well, I can assure you, with all the money we have given, the farmers are saying, no, 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 it's not enough. Not enough, give us a lot more. But what can be done? I think the difference here is that uh, in Rwanda, farmers don't own the factory. But in Kenya, they own the factory. I think, in my opinion, the KTD has looked at this very closely. There's no way in the world where you have an arrangement like KTD, where so many farmers with very little portions of land. In fact, 70% of our farmers have five, zero, half an acre or less. 75% yeah. of all the farmers we have now, half an acre or less. Mm. It's only 25 million dollars, one, two acres, they, some even have 40 acres, mm. it's a lot of mm. but most of them are very little. But we have been able to bring them all together. Yeah. Mm giving their little contribution, one shilling a kilo, 50 cents a kilo of a time, and we're able now to build a big factory. And they from them. The way I see it, if that model can work in Rwanda, then you see the money goes directly to the farm. That money, we are talking about 75 percent, does not go through anybody else. They go to the bank or to the circle, and they get paid. Nobody asks them. Or in some instances, if some don't even ask, we pay it through the Tesla, through the farm. And that's the way to create the uh, If that model can work, and it's possible, because you already have a structure with the cooperatives. I don't know if you have uh, yes. in, in terms of uh, also empowering the farmer to be uh, to be able to manage his finances in a more efficient way, uh KTDA is planning to partner uh, with a bank called Equity Bank to do what we call in financial literacy. Because it is one thing for the three farmers to get the money, but then how do you spend that money? Make sure that that money works for you. So the the, the tea farmer also needs to be a part in terms of the financial management of the money he gets, 
how does he manage uh, those finances in a more efficient way? Which investment opportunities can he be able to 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 to, to put his money into so that at the end of the day he's also able to sustain, you know, sustain his lifetime. So we also look at the greater pictures in terms of empowering the tea farmer to be more financially literate. Yes. Just a small addition, I know Charles has done it very well. In the issue of um, Bolivian challenge, in these two years, those are the only two factories that the uh, farmers appear like, um, you know, when you have direct shares. Mm. Is it? Yes. Uh, and I know, yes, maybe the government um, has kind of offloaded 55% from, uh, I don't know whether it's Shagash or Bolivia, and the other one is 60%. It is uh, 55 and 60. Mm -hmm. 60 mm -hmm. is in Shagash. Mm -hmm. 55 is in Mulim. Yes. Yes. I know it is 55 and 60 somewhere. No, no. 35? Yes. 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 Okay, whatever the percentage, what we are saying is, um, yes, it is true, 13 years been approached by one or two investors, isn't it? Yes. And that is the company that is buying the two factory shares yes. from the government. Yes. The government will still retain some shares, isn't it? And of course, you as cooperatives, mm, yeah. the two cocktail, cocktail, they are here. Yeah, cocktail <laughs> and cocktail. Will own some shares in the two factory companies, yes. isn't it? Mm. KTPA is a management, and we are ready to manage the factory. Mm. All we want is the acceptance and the support to achieve what they are looking at, what they, what they, we are doing. Mm. So, um, yes, that process is all going. We hope very soon we shall move over to Rwanda. Mm. We have been able to see the two factories. Mm. We have seen Sarasha, we have seen Libya. Mm. We know the source of their crop. The only challenge that we need to discuss with you as a circle is the issue of quality of the crop. Because if you want to make money, you must also produce the best tea. You did mention that uh, when getting to the so you want to work with the families, to the best of the farmers of Rwanda. Yes. And that is our aim. Because what is in that um, memorandum of understanding is getting to facilitate the transition so that in future, you as Rwandans will take over your tears like we in KTG. Yes. <laughs> that is our, uh, our yeah. happiness. Yeah. If maybe at the end of the time that we shall run those factories, we shall be developing our own people together. In fact, we are, we are thinking of an exchange program so that they also have people who can take over in the future. Hopefully, by the, time, by the end of the time, your people will start managing your business. And that is the only way you can come on because you see, all the other nine factories are owned by private companies, isn't it? So the only source of survival for the common farmer in Rwanda are the two factories, mm -hmm. Bolivia and Shagash. Mm -hmm. And that will set the base for your future. Yes. If you succeed, who knows, maybe you start building the 65 factories in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. And that is it. So we hope for the best. The program is ongoing. We are at almost at the, at, the, at, the, at the final stage. But I am sure there is nothing that will be done without interacting with you. Mm -hmm. And I know very well, there is nothing we shall be able to achieve without full support of Cocktail. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. So you people must be able to work with us. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I think that is it briefly yeah. on issue of the other two factors. On trainings, he has one cover, so I don't need to mention this. The only thing we can mention now is food. So it was not like owned, totally built by the government, you know, the same participation. <laughs> The rest is about the vision. Mm -hmm. and the people have the vision to say, look, we can do this, we can do so much more. Uh, this KTDA did not have this building. They used to be scattered, mm -hmm. uh, those were all over the town in different buildings. Mm -hmm. So the, the board that was here a few years ago, a number of years ago, said that we need a headquarters for KTDA in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And they had to do the same thing that the factories were doing. Let's get money to get factories and try to buy a building. This was bought. It was bought from uh, the owners. And it, you know, there's good income from rent 
but we are, this is all KTDA. But the building next door, KTDA Plus, is also owned by KTDA. And we also have another building across Kwenanga uh, <laughs> <laughs> Street, three buildings <coughs> list out. Majani Insurance Brokers is in, across the street. This other one has uh, the circle, our staff circle, mm -hmm. but it's the list out to other people. There are a lot of other properties. In fact, we have a whole wing that's just about properties in Mombasa, the industrial area. And they say, look, we're in business, so if there's money, just. <coughs> So this is what was now used as a, as a headquarters. But again, the way it works, they are detailed, because you form a company that runs now, there's a KTDA Farmers company, just so that you're not putting everything in one basket, so that runs or own the buildings that KTDA has an interest in. And that's how it began, and that's how it's been possible to do these big projects. Because we have to think not just about the factory, but even how this operation here will run those factors. Mm -hmm. And it's easier when you have a good, uh, you know, uh, strong balance sheet. And the banks know you are a big company, you are being managed well. They are very ready to give you loans. So they are support, so you can you pay that very quick. That's how you build a lot. I think I'll go to the next question on the social economic projects. The KTDA Foundation, we've set it up. I think we'll not say too much about it right now. It's something we can share with you, all the programs we are looking at. But the key ones are about the environment. We are trying to raise money from donors to do environmental projects, education, health, health uh, empowerment of farmers. But we've done that as a secret uh, subsidiary. But uh, as a self, uh, uh, you know, charity. Non-profit, non-profit, yes, we can. Yes, it's called social yeah. being a caring uh, corporate, yeah. giving back. But the way that runs, yeah, yeah runs now is that it's within uh, our department for our corporate affairs, and there's also some, a manager that also is in charge of it. But it works within the corporate affairs department, and soon it will grow and probably have to do certain things in front of them. The presentation. I think, yes, let me say yes, we can give the presentation. We'll, I think we will amend it, yeah. that we pick, because that's so something that lets you, so that it's better to understand it. Yeah. And okay, maybe somebody will yeah. it, because now we know that there are areas of interest. Mm -hmm. Then we can share that with you. Can say yeah. that. Even, uh, we can send it. Even, not the presentation, yeah. but uh, the, how, uh, the picture of no, 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 Okay, fine. On um, issues of uh, fertilizer, I did mention earlier that uh, KTDA facilitates the procurement because of the amount of fertilizer that we buy. And why we do that is because the farmer will be able to get it at the least possible price. So once we've uh, kind of put them the requirements, KTDA will always um, um, seek the use of quotations. We do annual quotations because we want to get the best price every year. Mm. So KTD will facilitate for quotations from the manufacturers once we've identified the best that is giving us the correct combination of the elements that we require in fertilizer, we go for that. And KTD will facilitate the, the orders and uh, once it has been delivered all the way to, to Kenya and distributed to the farm, we generate, or rather we come up with the price out of the operational and distributional costs. So you will find we do not really look for a figure that will make the company to make profit. We only want to deliver to the farmer at the best cost possible. So we do not really charge any. What we charge is cost of manufacture, cost of the fertilizer, transportation to the farmer, and that is it. And that's what we use to come up with the actual price. So you will find that whatever we are charging may be much, much lower than what is in there. Yeah, last, year, last year, it was two, on average, 
Mm -hmm. So we are a little bit of difference if your factor is very far. When was 2000, 10 shillings, 2400. About 10 shillings, 2400. So it's 400. 10 shillings. How many? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50 kilo. How much? 2,400. 2,400. 50 kilo. That was last year. This year, the past shipment has come. We didn't know whether it's been completed. How much it will be? On leaf quality and production, on leaf production and quality, um, as I mentioned again earlier, it is the business of the factory company to ensure their farmers are well trained on the ground. I did mention the issue of farmer fees before. It is working very well for us because the farmers have accepted and they have understood the need to come up with quality. If you get quality, you get better prices, you get better value. So once the farmers have accepted that and internalizing them, they will always be ready to give you the best quality. And then the issue of production is the farmer <coughs> Extension service is very key in business of tea uh, production. So you must make your people understand the need to manage the farm. Issues of weeding, issues of correct pruning, proper planning, I mean plucking, fertilizer application, those are things that the farmer must understand. So that as your extension people visit and check with the farms, they only get guidance and the additional um, teaching. So if you have the farmers in this program that we have talked about farmer fiscal program, you be able to maintain your quality standard. And of course, improve on production. Like here in Kenya, we are saying for every farmer to achieve, there must be what we call a seven to ten days plucking round. So if your farm is not plucked for more than ten days, then you are giving poor quality. And on top of that, again, you are reducing production. So the farmers must visit their farms every seven to ten days, depending on the weather uh, changes. But on average, within ten days, you have plucked your farm. So that in a month, you should have plucked three times. And in so doing, you will be able to maintain quality and improve on production. So those are some of the techniques that must be applied in order really to achieve on production and quality. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think um, yeah. the, other, the other area, I think we've covered, I guess, from the Yeah, we have covered that all the way, and we are still in the process. The other two uh, actors came about the tea, the system. We begin with the is the Ministry of Agriculture and there is a regulator, the Tea Board of Health. Mm -hmm. And related to the Tea Board of Health is the Tea Research Foundation of Kenya, which does research. Um, it is at that point that we have the producers, different producers. KTD is the biggest. KTD is the biggest producer of uh, small scale holders. Then we have the independent producers who are also not very big, but they are not at the gate. And also we have the multinationals, we have very, very big competition. Most of them are in the region. And the biggest of those are uh, the Unilever, James, James Finley, George Williamson. Quite big. That, that's how it's structured from the top. So there's a the Ministry of Agriculture, then the regulator. People mm -hmm. in Kenya mm -hmm. sets out the, the regulations, rules of conduct of the business, registration of factories. Mm -hmm. and the Tea Research Foundation is also government, but we make a contribution to both of those organizations, the Tea Board and also the Tea Research, to assist them in their work mm -hmm. research and application. They levy, they levy fees on the producers. They also the packers. People just pack the produce. Like our own Ketepa Kenya Tea Packers. And Ketepa actually uh, is the biggest. It dominates the market. And about 60% of the local market is Ketepa. But we have many other companies Melvin's Tea, Kericho Tea, a lot of brands in the market. So generally, that's how it is organized. And of course, in terms of sales, most of it is at the auction. But also, there is a lot of direct sales. Since we are the biggest producer, we also sell. Most of them buy from us. I don't know if it's clear now in the general structure. But the government, the ministry, the regulators, the research, then the producers, and the packers, and then the auction. Now the auction and the return tomorrow 
it is uh, organized under the East Africa Tea Trade mm -hmm. Association. Mm -hmm. So, one is a member, of course, because you are the users, markers, traders, everybody is there. Mm -hmm. And they are the ones who manage the auction. Mm -hmm. As an independent body, now, that is for trade. Mm -hmm. So, we are also members. Big producers and also traders and partners. And I think those are the, all the players in the, this kind of the tea industry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, I think we have dealt with KTB, the original source of funds, said it was really pushed by the government. Then the government withdrew at that and the private individuals, as farmers and as factory companies, under the guidance and leadership of KTB. Um, then there's something about uh, <coughs> existence. Uh, that uh, handle that. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> let me go from the top now. Assistance to transfer technology applications. I think it is uh, like we have already mentioned when there's collaboration. Hated me, and also with the factories. Just like it's happening now, the two factories, it is possible. It's really a question of discussion. Because uh, KTD is very open. It, is, it has a lot of expertise, and it is, it is really willing to work to improve the factory situation. Uh, Eric, I'm just addressing the question when I talk about trans technology transform, yeah. and collaboration. Yes. Yeah, maybe because of comment. I'm guessing yes, that is a yes. It's a question of how we relate and agree. Yeah, I do agree with you because definitely, like now, the opening that we have started interacting in terms of us moving over to the other side, I do not see why we cannot in future facilitate that kind of uh, mutual benefit. Mm -hmm. Something that will assist you to gain in certain areas that you are not gained. Because um, before this new development, coming on board because we initially didn't have that kind of a link. I am sure whatever we shall initiate trendly in run and because what we are doing we shall be able to address all areas. Mm -hmm. Apart from production, we are also looking at areas of ICT development and improvement for terms of efficiency. We shall also be looking at what can be done to enhance the 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 the, 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 the improvement and the performance, the efficiency of those factories. Mm -hmm. So if you look at most of those things, it is exactly what you are talking about, technology transfer. Mm -hmm. we, you see now, like, if we move, when we move in as KTBA, mm -hmm. our way of doing things will definitely require the same approach, because that's the way we understand how to finance. Sure, that all things will be able to move in such a way that the same information, the same technology, can be similar to the other side. But the areas that are beyond what we are doing, what we are mandated to do, definitely there should be ways of, 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 of approaching that. Yeah. And I know you've seen that there are certain things that we, for sure we cannot move unless we embrace. We are talking of uh, certification. Mm -hmm. The future of the team that's unless you have that kind of uh, certification, you may not sell your team. I remember we were told the other day that RA is kind of being seen as unless you are right, right for a aligned certified. Yeah. Maybe by about 2015, there are certain outlets internationally that you will not be able to put your team. So you must also comply. And these are forces of international uh, market, which we cannot control. So I think that is the last slide. And even the fact the next one I was going to mention, ISO certification, ISO <laughs> okay. there, which again is possible. It's possible. Mm -hmm. There's a part of saying, yes, we have the expertise. Can we come in yes. to assist in the ISO certification? Maybe one one of those is here in those Then particular question about hectare of tea to start the factory and the equity and paper. How much tea do you require? Yeah, on average for our factories. That's depending on our design. We are talking of 250 hectares of tea. 250 250 hectares. Which is about 600 hectares. To be able to sustain a factory, depending on the on the on the capacity of the factory. Mm -hmm. You see, here in Kenya we have our factories out of a standard of 10 million, 15 million factory, I mean, uh, 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 crop annually. Mm -hmm. So our standard as it is now is 15 million factory. So for a 15 million factory, yeah, yeah. you require a minimum of 250 acres. 
hectares, so 250 hectares. So which adds up to about 600 acres. That is when you'll be able to sustain the, the demand and have that factory operate at its optimum and profit. And the one that the one that produce eight million program per year. Yeah, but that's why I'm saying if you look at it like your two factories, the one the Mulindi and Sagasha, I don't know who comes from Mulindi and who comes from Sagasha. The two factories, on average, you are producing what eight million? Eight million combined. One combined. Yeah. So one you there, is, there is need to improve on the production of your catching. Because I saw your two factories are about uh, the design. I would say the design of those factories is about 10 million, two line operations. Mm. But if you want to maximize the operations, and I saw in Mulini you have bought a number of new machines that are yet to be installed. Machines that are coming even more. Mm. Mm. Yeah. They are lying outside in boxes. Mm. So once you install those machines on a three line factory, that factory should be able to run 15 million kilowatts. So that means there is need to improve yes. the production. So what is the production, the production per hectare here, per year, the, the, sorry, the, the meter the, tons? The production per hectare, per hectare yeah. per year. You see what it is in our case, we, we, we gauge the performance of, um, of, of the factory on production per bush. Mm -hmm. You can always work it out, eh? mm -hmm. but our average, if you want to achieve the best, that bush should give you at least one and a half kilograms of mm -hmm. So, So, uh, I year. So we are saying, if a acre, a bush, a bush. No. now you can convert because we are saying an, an acre should be having about 4,500 bushes, depending on the species. What do you mean by a yeah. plant? Sorry. No, no, the way we look at it is look at one plant. One plant. One, one, one tea one plant. Tea plant. Yeah. It's called a bush. No, one tea plant. plant. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So they are saying it should, yes, it should produce yes. one and a half kilograms. Kilogram. Kilogram. One and a half kilograms. Yes. Yes. Per, per year. Yes. Okay. Yeah. One plant. Oh, one plant. Yeah, one plant. Yes. Per year. Yes. yes. Oh. Average. Yeah. <laughs> Average. Minimum. Okay. Yeah. Should be more. Okay. You see, yeah, good more. performers are very yeah. 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 easy to get one. They are two kgs. Per year. Yeah. So, so you so, say one acre has about how many? 4,000 acres. 4,000 acres the spacing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, again, so, the spacing they may be applying is well, not the modern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are talking of 4,800. Mm -hmm. Previously, it was maybe four by three. It gives you 3,500. Yeah. So, you see, if you go by that, the list of 3,500 pushes per acre, it means 3,500 kilos if you make one kilo. Yeah, assuming one bush gives you just one kilo, and in one acre, you have 3,500 bush pushes. So you'll actually make 3,500 yeah. kilos per year mm -hmm. from one acre. Mm -hmm. And you're saying you need to have. Yeah, you need to have an average of 250 hectares for one factory of a minimum of 15 million kilograms. So those are some of the technical of the areas that you need to catch up with. So the, and the only way to catch up with is to have that proper training and understanding of the farm. And for us to achieve that, like you people in Rwanda, you must tackle it from the cooperative angle. Yeah. Because you are the people who are accessing and discussing with the farmers. And I know if you develop another that line, you'll be able to achieve. Okay, there was a final question. Pardon me, sir. Okay. I'm going to do it. 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 No, no, Wakuba, but then a moine, one of Waku, two chimney, Chagrin, Chimney, 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 Hi, good evening. 
So sorry. Okay. He wanted some some additional maybe explanation. On he saw in the presentation we had the cleaning with the machine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can we can get more? Yeah. Okay, you see, like I uh, said earlier, we are trying to embrace new technology. Mm -hmm. What we mm -hmm. means mm -hmm. improved efficiency and mm -hmm. better performance, mm -hmm. correct pruning. Mm -hmm. You see, most of the farmers uh, have been using the usual knife. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's what you use to prune. Yes, it's good. 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 Yes, it is also good, but it depends on the knowledge of the pruner, the person mm -hmm. doing it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, this one is also good depending on the knowledge to use it. Sometimes, if you use this one wrongly, it will also give you problems. Yeah, yes. But then the advantage of this pruning machine is efficiency. You can, do, you can do a big area within a short time. Yeah. And you can also uh, you reduce on costs because like this machine you may be able to do one acre or so in a single day, but if you are to use the hard pruning, you may require as many as maybe five, ten people, which will run again for a long time. So this is a new uh, web system. Is a new yeah, and it has proved to be doing well depending on the knowledge. Please come with it. It's okay, I understood that. <laughs> okay, so we are yeah. finishing now. Yeah. I think there's a question that was asked who, who are the promoters of KTDA's existence? Who are from the farmers of government? You can see we started with government, now it's the farmers. It's the farmers who are driving. Mm -hmm. yes. So the farmers tell us, yes, we want the following. Can we choose? We are ready to contribute mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. The water factory, and they say, yes, do that. We will build. Mm -hmm. So it's really the farmers, not just the government. Mm -hmm. I'll just mention it there was a question about promoters. Who are the promoters of uh -huh. the Yes. Was it farmers or government? Mm -hmm. And as we have seen, they started with government. Mm -hmm. But now it is the farmers who are driving. And sometimes they go to a general meeting, and a general meeting, and they say, we want a factory, and they agree. We will even mean, two shipping they they push. Push. <laughs> And they say, we are ready to put the money. Ah. Then they come and say, KTT could get the loan. We are ready. Ah. So yeah. they want to push it really to have this. A lot of even the new factories we are building now. So we also need to push. Oh, yes. Huh? And then we tell them, where's the money? And they go to the farmers and say, okay, how much? They agree. So there's mm -hmm. one factory that said they'll even put. Five shillings. Yes. A lot of yeah, I go. I think it quickly. So the push is from the farmers. Mm -hmm. But the, the last question was the equity and the payback period. Yes. For the loan. Mm -hmm. um, once they have raised fifty percent, and I think maybe you should use absolute. Yes. Use one factory now. Yes. For now, for you, cost it. Could it be six hundred? Five hundred and fifty. 600 million kind of mm -hmm. the total costs. 550 million? Yes. On average. Some are going to about 600. So farmers raise half of that, which is about 250, 260 million. Mm -hmm. So they may raise it from, probably in a period of two years. Yeah. Yes. Maybe two, yeah. two or three years contributing on what they have. By contributing their, their income. Yes. Yes, what they do, they say. Mm -hmm. The price, we know we are paying them so much per kilo. They say we will deduct, we will put us, say, one shilling per kilo, everybody, until the money, the 50% is met. And they, they put it in, in an account managed by KTP. And of course, maybe it also has interest, so that, that helps them. So when they have reached the 50%, they say, okay, now KTP can get the loan. KTP gets the difference, which will be maybe another 200. That usually is a, it becomes a guarantor for that loan. Mm. We guarantee the loan. 
it is repaid in about eight to ten years. Eight to ten years. Eight to ten years. Eight to ten years. Uh, after that, of course, there's no more payment. That money can go in the income or other projects. And it's not just in building in the factories. They do that even in expansion yeah. or buying equipment. It's used the same to more than the same system. But for the big loans, it takes an average about eight years. Mm. Some factories, of course, if you are putting in more money or you are earning more, it goes past. I think that was the last question. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.